Good day, my dear children. Welcome back to Max class. We can start our class with a silent prayer. So, all join your hands and close your eyes. Okay, welcome back. So, what we discussed in the last class? Hmm? What we studied in the last class? Yes, we study open and closed figures, two dimensional shapes and its parts. So, what are the different parts of a 2D shapes? Sides, corners and corners or vertices and diagonal. What is corner or vertices? Yes, two or more sides meet at a common point are called the corner or vertices and uh, two or more line or two or more sides uh, two or more sides of a 2d shape meet at a common point uh, it's called a corner or vertex uh, plural form of vertex is vertices okay so a rectangle a square uh, with have four vertices mm? then diagonal uh, what is diagonal a straight line that we draw inside a shape join the opposite vertices are called the diagonals mm? square rectangle have two diagonals then a triangle circle do not have any diagonal and triangles has three vertices and three sides but it has no diagonal okay so what we discussed in the last class today we are going to discuss the next topic that is three dimensional shape what is three dimensional shape i know you are also familiar with this three dimensional shape because in the last class last year means second standard you study about this three dimensional shapes different uh, what are the three dimensional shapes yes cube cuboid then cylinder cone sphere mm? these are our examples of a three dimensional shape okay why we call this shape is three dimensional shape then in two dimensional shape we study it has two measurement two dimension length and breadth uh, that's why it is called a two dimensional shape but it's three dimensional so why we call this shape is three dimensional a uh, three dimensional shape another a uh, three dimensional shapes another name is solid shape mm? so it has three measurement mm? what are the three measurement length height and width now show a model of a three dimensional shape can you see this yes so this is a cuboid mm? this is a cuboid so in this cuboid this is a three dimensional shapes or solid shape so it has three measurement what are the three measurement the first one this is the length mm? length of it this is the length of a Thread, length of this cuboid then breadth and this is the height hmm? length breadth height three measurement huh? that's why we call this shape is three dimensional shapes or solely shape hmm? okay cube cuboid then uh, cone cylinder sphere are examples of a Three dimensional, three dimensional shape. It has three measurements. Which are the three measurements? Length, breadth, and height. Length, breadth, and height. That are the three measurements in a three dimensional shape. Okay. Okay. Uh, so cube, cuboid, uh, cone, cylinder, extra or three dimensional shape now we can study the different parts of a three dimensional shape the first one is a face what is the face of a three dimensional shape the face of a solid shape is the flat surface of that object means this is a cuboid is a three dimensional shape solid shape what is the name of the shape yes this is a 
cuboid. So, the flat surface of this solid shape. Uh, so, this is the flat surface. Hmm? What is that? Which shape is this? It is a rectangle shape. So, the flat surface of this shape is called the face. Hmm? The flat surface of this shape is called the face. So, this is the face of a cuboid. So, how many faces this cuboid has? Here is one face. This is a face. This is also a face. Here is one face. Here is one face. Also, here is one face. So, total how many faces? Yes. One, two. Then, three. Opposite. Four. Five, six. So, total six faces are there in the cuboid. Huh? How many faces? Six faces. Then all faces are in the same shape. Yes, this is rectangle shape. This is also rectangle shape. Yes, this rectangle shape. This rectangle shape. So, the opposite faces are in equal shape. So, this shape is rectangle. Huh? This opposite face is this. This is also a rectangle shape. Huh? Then, this face is rectangle. The opposite face is this. This is also a rectangle. But this shape, what is the shape? This is a square face. And the opposite face also square. So in a cuboid, opposite faces are equally shaped. And in some cuboid, as so you, you can see so many examples of cuboid from our surroundings. Yes, which are that. Yes, uh, this bottle. Uh, bottle not a, um, this boxes. Box, uh, chapel box, uh, medicine box, uh, uh, soap box, uh, extra or examples of a cuboid. And uh, in that, in some shape, uh, four faces are in rectangle shape and two faces are in square shape. But some other example, this is a soap box, uh, a cuboid shape. In this shape, in this cuboid, uh, there are six faces are in rectangle shape. So, in some cuboid, uh, Two faces are in which shape? Square face. But in some cuboid, all faces are in rectangle shape. But all cuboid has six faces. There is no change. All cuboid has six faces. So this box is, eh? this cuboid, this is a cuboid shape. So this box also has six faces. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And the example there. This is also an example of a cuboid. So, we can see so many examples of a cuboid in our surroundings. Okay. Now, face over. The flat surface is called the face. Means, in this example, cuboid. So, this is the face. This is the face of a cuboid. Okay. This is also a face. Here is one face. Here is one face. Here is one face. But in this figure, we can see only one, two, three, four, uh, five, four faces. But other two faces we can't see. But that's already there. But we can't see that faces. Uh, okay. So total six faces are there in that cuboid. Six faces. Okay. Now, next part is the edge. What is the edge? Then in 2D shape, we study the sides. Uh, same way in the sides of uh, the sides of this three dimensional shapes are called the edges. I mean the sides of the 3D shapes are called the edges. Look this here. This, this is the edge. Uh, this is the edge of this edge of this cuboid. Here also one edges. Here also one edges. Here is one edge. So total how many edges are here? So how many edges? We can count the edges. See. One. Then. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, then, then, eight, nine, ten, okay, and four here, four this sides, and we want to count these two sides also, hmm? these two sides. So, 
4 plus 4, 8 plus 2, 10. And this also, also we can count the two sides. 1, 2. So total how many edges? 12 edges are there in the cuboid. That is, these are the edges. Mm, one. These are the edges. Mean the sides of a 3D shape. Sides of a 3D shapes are called the edges. So total 12 edges. Okay. So you can take one box and just count the edges and faces in a solid shape. Okay. Cuboid. Take one box and just count the edges and the faces. Okay. Now next one is the vertex. Hmm? Corners or vertices. Corners, okay, the same that is two or more side or two or more edges meet at a point are called the vertices or corners. So, here this side, this edge and this edge, also this edge meet one point, okay. Here three edges meet another point. This three edge meet another point. Here also a corner. Then here also a corner, here is one corner, here is one corner, here is one corner. So total how many corners? Yes, eight corners, eight corners or vertices. That is here, one, then two, three, four, okay, five, six, seven, eight. Eight corners are there in the eight corners or vertices are there in the cuboid. Okay. So, the flat surface are called the faces of a 3D shape. The sides of the edges, sides of the 3D shapes are called the edges. Then, two or more sides meet one meet one common point, that point is called the corner or vertices. So, a cuboid has six faces, 12 edges and 8 vertices. 12, 6 faces, 12 edges and 8 vertices. And then the flat, the shape of this face is rectangular faces also in some cuboid Two sides are, two faces are square shape. Okay. In most cuboid, all faces are in rectangular. That is, in commonly we say that flat rectangular face. The shape, the solid shape with the flat rectangular faces are called the cuboid. But remember, in some cuboid, uh, two sides are in square shape. Okay. Now show you one example. Yes, this two. Uh, in this box, uh, yes, in this cuboid, uh, the Two sides are in square shape. Uh, other four sides are in rectangular shape. Okay. Now, next one is the next. Next solid shape is cube. Cube. So, same faces. Cube also has faces, edges and corner. So, the flat surface are called the. Flat surface are called the faces. So, this cube also has six faces. Here, we can write this. Six faces. Cube also has six faces, but all the faces are in square shape. All the faces are in square shape. Now, can we have one small example? This is a die. Yeah? It's an example of a example of a cube. So this one, this side, this is the face. So all the faces are in square shape. Side shape. All the face are in square shape. Okay. Die. Uh, then one cubics. Uh, rubics. Then no, no. Rubics. Uh, one box. So that is always an example of a cube. Example of a cube. You know, dice. Uh, okay. Now it has six faces. So this flat surfaces are called the six face. Uh, face are uh, called the face. And cube has six faces. All the faces are in the square shape. Also, it has 12 edges. Uh, means if we add this, if you count this, all these edges, we will get this number 12. So, it has 12 edges. Also, 8 vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 vertices. So, a cube, cuboid, both have 6 faces, 12 edges and 
8 vertices. Examples of cube is dice, cuboid or type of boxes. Hmm? Chapel box, medicine box, extra examples of a cuboid. Okay. Now, next one is a cone. Hmm? Cone. Solid shape with a circular base and a curved surface. Uh, it has a circular base. Solid shape with a circular base. So, this is a circular base. Circular base means circle in shape. So, it has a circular base and a curved surface. Uh, this is a curved surface. Uh, this is the curved surface. Solid shape with a circular base. This is the circular base. Circular base and this is the curved surface. Curved surface. Solid shape with a circular base and a curved surface are called the cone. It has one vertex. This is the vertex of a cone. Only one vertex. So cone has one vertex. And a curved surface, also a circular face. So, can you see some examples of a cone? We can see so many examples of cone from our surroundings. What are that? Yes, ice cream cone. Huh? Ice cream cone is a cone-shaped thing. Then, our birthday cap. Hmm? Birthday cap, ice cream cone, birthday cap, extra examples of a so it has a it has two faces one curved surface face and a circular base and it has one vertex one vertex one curved surface and a circular base okay so these are the three solid shape that we want to study first one is cube flat faces is the edges is the vertices mean the flat surface is called the faces so it has six faces the sides of the solid shape is called the edges it has 12 edges then two or more edge meet at one point that point is called the vertices so it has eight vertices same way cube borders Six faces, twelve edges, and eight vertices. And in cube, all faces are hmm? all faces are square in shape. Cuboid in some cuboid, all faces are rectangular shape. But in some cuboid, four four faces are rectangular shape. Two faces are in square shape. Next one is core. It has a vertex, one curved surface and a circular base. Example of cube is die. Mm? Then Rubik's extra cuboid or type of boxes are example of a cuboid. Then uh, core, mm? ice cream, uh, ice cream core. Then birthday cap. Another one is cylinder that is this like shape. Cylinder. That is not in your textbook, just to understand. Cylinder. So it has two circular base. See, one circular base is here, one circular base. There is no vertex or cornices. And a curved surface. One circular base, one circular base. Circular base of face. And the faces. The faces are the example. These are the different solid shapes. Okay, so study the examples of a square shape. What are the examples of cube? What are the examples of cuboid? Then examples of cube, uh, cube die, ruby square, extra, cuboid, boxes, brick. Mm, brick, extra examples of a cuboid. Then corn, corn, ice cream corn. But the day cap, extra examples of a cone. Okay. So, that only in this 3D shapes. Okay, 3D shape. Just study how many faces, how many edges, how many vertices in that solid shape. Okay.